and welcome to Shrift's how-to videos. This video will focus on the contribution form, which is to be completed by individuals invited to the grant in either of the following project roles, applicant investigator, supporter, or personnel. A contribution form is created when the following two things happen. The application is in the full application draft stage, and an individual has completed the invitation process. The contribution form will then be found on the individual's RMS homepage to be completed prior to the application deadline. It's important for the principal applicant investigator to let their invited individuals know that they will need to sign in to the RMS and complete the form prior to the deadline. So after you've logged into the RMS and you are on the homepage, you'll look for the header applications. Under this header, you will then find the icon action required contribution forms. In this icon, you will find a list view of the contribution forms you need to complete. So as you can see in the list view, it'll let you know which application it is by principal investigator, the grant type, the status of, the app of your activity, which is graphed, and then your activity type. So as you can see, this individual is on grants and therefore has multiple forms to complete. Each pre project role has a different contribution form, as you can see under the activity type. For this video, we will be focusing on the applicant investigator contribution to form type, but if you are in the supporter or personnel role, you will follow similar instructions that I'm about to go through. So once you find your contribution form, you'll click open and it'll take you to the form itself. So as you can see, your name would be here. The next thing you'll do for um, applicant investigator, this isn't the case for um, supporters, but you will have a bit of a different dropdown for personnel, is you'll choose one of the following. Um, make sure that you've worked with the principal applicant to identify which one you are, because as you can see, something different will show up depending on the role that you have. So we'll, for now, do the researcher one. So once you've chosen this, you can then choose your organization. Um, as you can see from your profile, this will pull in the different affiliations you're with. Um, make sure that you choose the affiliation that is correct for this application. So if you've been invited as a researcher from the University of Saskatchewan, you would wanna choose that. Whereas maybe you were a knowledge user from Brock University where you would choose that. So you pick your affiliation. Identify how many hours of the week you will be doing um, work on this proposed project. You'll then put a description in. And finally, the last thing you'll need to do is upload the appropriate um, either academic CV. If you're a researcher, if you're a knowledge user, um, you can use the modified CV template. But if you do have a CCV, that's fine. You can upload that. And then um, those with lived experiences would upload a testimonial and you can either do that in writing um, or type, or you can actually upload a um, voice file as well if you find that that may be easier and more accessible for you than typing something out. And then finally, what you'll do is you'll click the upload button and this will open another window. And here's where you'll upload the appropriate document. You can either type in the file name or you can click the button to browse. Um, make sure that you pick the PDF format because it will not take a Word document format. So click PDF, hit open, upload, then it's complete. As you can see, the file is attached. You'll click close. And now you can see that everything is ready to go that has an asterisk. Um, if you are wanting to save your information and not submit yet, you would click save draft. This way you can actually then leave the file um, and I'll just show you. Then you can come back into there and you'll see your information is still there. And once you're ready, you'll click submit. So what this will do is lock down your uh, contribution form. You can no longer edit and it will now go into the application, which the principal applicant and yourself will be able to see, but it'll also go into your submitted contribution forms. So here you can see all of the forms in a similar list view that you have completed. Now, if there is 
the odd chance that you may have inserted a draft CCV instead of um, the validated, uh, you will need to contact SHRF at helpdesk at SHRF.ca. And what we will do is we would then push your uh, com um, contribution form back to the draft status and let you fix that. Um, and then if you have any problems at any time, you can just email us at helpdesk at and we're happy to help.